Hello, 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 hey, hey. hey everybody, welcome back, it is your girl Brooke, thank you so much for clicking on this video today, uh, so as you all may know or don't know, I am the owner, creator, founder of Brooke Glam and Designs. If you would like to check out my business website, I'm going to have that link uh, below. And also, I do have a new Facebook group. When I tell y'all it is new, it is spanking new Facebook group. So don't laugh at my members. I probably have about 10, 11 members. But that's why we need you to come and join. If you're a crafter, if you have a die cut machine, if you're trying to uh, learn how to sublimate, you know, all of these things. Got If you have a Cricut, if you have a Silhouette, you know, which are the die cutting machines. Please join us in our group. We're here to craft together, learn together, help each other out. I love helping people. That's why I do these videos. And by the way, my Facebook group name is We Craft Die Cut Machines and Sublimation. Or you could go to Facebook, go to that search bar and type in the at symbol, We Craft 22. All right. Okay. Now what we're doing today, um, I want to try something new. Yeah. I, I like trying new things and I like trying it recording, you know, with y'all, <laughs> uh, because if it fail, you would know if it works, you will know. Okay. So I want to, my plan today is to try to sublimate with, um, sublimate, um, on car start on card stock I can't talk on card stock but using uh, lamination so I did sublimate on um, I did use lamination sublimating on wood before I didn't record that I should have but I've done that sublimating on wood oh, I'm sorry laminating on wood and then sublimating on top of the wood also I've tried it um, lamination with the canvases and sublimating on top of that that worked so I'm gonna see how this is gonna work with the car stock I don't know how that's gonna work but if I could sublimate a napkin I should be able to sublimate this car stock because it's a lot thicker than a napkin. But uh, <laughs> but I didn't have to use no sublim um, no lamination for the napkin. So that's we're, we're just gonna go ahead and get into this video, okay? And I'm gonna show you right quick what I'm gonna be using. Um, I love this sublimation paper, Crafting Besties. Um, I have Cosmos Ink, and it works the best with cosmos ink i'm telling y'all i love it with cosmos ink those mm, them colors be popping i'm telling you for sure for real for real all right that's the sublimation paper i'm using the crafty besties i'm doing the eight you know the standard letter size 8.5 by 11 um i do have this standard um letter size 8.5 by 11 card stock here and this is, um, a, if I give you the wrong number, 65 pound heavy. You see, as it says, heavy, 65 pound heavy card stock, okay? I got that off of Amazon, I do believe, but you could get it anywhere almost. Walmart, you know, uh, Amazon, of course. I would try to link that link below if I got it from Amazon. I can't remember. But, and also, of course, you're going to need your, we're trying this with our lamination um, pouches. I have the thermal uh, lamination pouches, and that is what we're going to do. And I have no idea where I got this from. Probably Wally World, which is Walmart. So, let's go ahead and do this. I'm actually going to try to sublimate business cards my bit like a bit my business cards onto this card stock and we're gonna see how that go how that roll all right let's get into this video y'all hey 
Hey everybody, I just want to jump on here uh, just right quick because this is going to be a long video. So those of you who do not like long videos, I just want to give you these gems. So I did, um, well I did not find a way to sublimate on um, sublimate with cardstock onto the lamination for business cards. Um, it did it just did not work. And if you in this video, you will see that it just did not work. <laughs> it was not working. Um, if you find a way how to do so, please let me know. But on when we went through actually sub uh, not sublimating when we went through actually um, laminating on to cardstock it was successful so basically all i did this is my business card all i did was print on cardstock using a regular printer and regular ink i printed on the cardstock using those regular printers the regular ink okay not sublimation printed on a cardstock put the cardstock inside of the uh, lamination pouch sleeve and I did laminate it with the heat press for 320 degrees for five seconds 320 degrees for five seconds okay so you either want to hover over it and count to five or you want to do a very take your dowel um, up to light very light press for five seconds if it's still kind of didn't fully um, seal with the lamination you want to do an additional either hover or light press for five seconds okay uh, so if you do not want to watch the video it is lengthy, but I go step by step everything that I did. I would appreciate it if you look at it. But if not, y'all, I thank you so much for just coming on and watching so far. And if you have not subscribed, please do. I try to drop a video once a week. And if you like the video so far, just hit that like button. And please leave a comment below. I do answer every comment and I read every comment. Okay? <laughs> so if y'all have anything uh, to say or anything to add, please do. I am here and once again, this is the business card laminated using the heat press at 320 um, degrees for five seconds. All right. Y'all take care. God bless. I um, am back and I am now in Silhouette Studios. And what we're going to do, I did finish um, updating my business card in Canva. So I am going to go ahead and get that download, bring it into Canva. So this is my first time actually, I'm sorry, get it from Canva down and download it here into silo, um, Silhouette. So this is my first time ever, you know, doing business cards actually in silhouette so we're gonna see how this go okay so I've got my business card here and this is the correct size as you can see it's 3.5 by 2.0 that is the correct size for a standard business card so what I am going to do I do have my um, show print border on uh, I have the check mark on here um, so you want to make sure that you are not printing outside of that print border. Okay, and I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to duplicate it and hopefully I can get a good amount of business cards. So, I hope so. So, I just want to line them up. However, 
that I could, however many I could get on here, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, that is the goal. Definitely. See, this one right here is not going to make the cut. Okay? <laughs> and it's okay. It is a-okay. Alright, so... Let's see if my spacing kind of want to get it not too close, you know, to the cut line. Let me bring these in some because they just seem like they're too close to that cut line for me. Okay, I do want to kind of keep them straight as much as possible. And I'm definitely going to save this because... A sister I'm not gonna be doing this every time it actually look good in cam um i keep saying canva canva is on my mind it actually looked good in a uh, silhouette studios i can't believe i didn't think to do this before in silhouette okay all right make sure it's not too far just look over it Make sure it's not too close to that print board, borderline. Okay. All right. So, we got that out the way. Um, I am going to go ahead and send this to my sublimation printer. So, let me go ahead and go to print... All right, and in your preview, you do want to always make sure that you look at your picture before printing. Make sure the cut lines are not cutting anything off. All right, and in this here tutorial today, I am using my Epson um, EcoTank 2850. Um, it, it only prints eight, the letter size to 8.5 by 11. All my presets are excuse me all my settings are already preset and everything so it's already uh, got the mirror in there so i'm gonna just go ahead and hit on print all right so we're gonna let that print out and i am going to bring y'all back with me to the craft table as we prepare our next steps okay see you in a bit all right y'all so i am back so my um my printer is still is going again because I print in a second sheet because uh my first sheet came out everything else came out good but of course I had some smearing on this one so I'm I'm not about to waste all that paper so I'm just going to cut <laughs> that one out just going to cut this out. The one that got the, the smear on it right there. Oops, you can't see it. The one that got the smear on it. And as I was doing this, I was like, oh, I want to try something else. So I use my regular printer just to print, print out my business cards, regular ink, regular pigment ink. Um, my regular printer, I have a laser printer. Okay. Um, trying to make sure that okay, it's gonna be out. I'm all right. But anyhow, yeah, I have a laser printer, and um, that's my heat pressure. I was waiting for it to heat up. I have a laser printer, and I want to see if I can um, heat press. I want to see if I can heat press the lamination onto that with, um, by using my heat press. Okay, so this one came out a lot better. Okay, all right. So what I've already did, I have took the cardstock and I placed it inside the pouch. Um, I am not, let me see, I am not, um, 
taking just one sheet. I'm not ripping this apart. I am keeping it in the pouch because I need to see, because I need this to be covered both sides, okay? Because normally people will use the lamination. They'll split this part apart and uh, just laminate one side. I need all of this laminated front and back, okay? Because it's for a business card. Okay. <laughs> all right, let me go ahead and... My heat press is calling my name. When it be doing that little click, click, that click, click. It's like, come on now. I done sat here and got warmed up. I ain't no you, slow poke. <laughs> so I just want to cut around the edges here. Um, and today, again, I am using my smaller heat press i am using my 12 by 15 heat press today since we are doing small projects i'm just cutting around the edges here my my i'm honest okay i'm just cutting around the edges here just because sometimes ink do spill on them edges and it'll mess everything up and you'd be like, why didn't I cut the matches? Why? All right. <laughs> My husband say I'm so the the was it theatrical theatrical? Yeah, I think that's what he say. I'm like hush. I just like to sign. <laughs> All right, y'all coming with me? It's literally like two steps. So yeah. <laughs> I need to see where I'm gonna put y'all. Hey. All right, give me one second, y'all. Ooh, I hope that ain't, yeah, all my junk showing back there. Okay, so what we're doing, I have the heat press at 400 degrees. And I'm going to place this down. Let me get my. Sheet. Get my Teflon. So right now I'm just going to do this for 10 seconds, okay? With the cardstock in between the lamination. 10 seconds. Uh, light to medium pressure. Let's go. Let's see what happens. This is our first time doing this, y'all. Our first time doing this. Okay. That was 10 seconds. It did not beat. Oh, God. Y'all, I don't like how this looking. Did I put, did I pressure put? Oh, Lord. I don't like how that's looking at all, y'all. Look, it look crinkled. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. Okay. So something, I wonder is it because it's in that pouch? Okay, okay. I forgot to cut the timer off. <laughs> and it's fussing it. I'm gonna do it again, cause we need to know. Is it because it's in the pouch? And I'm actually gonna do it for less seconds. I did it for 10 seconds. So, and this time I'm not gonna close it. I'm not gonna let it, I mean, I'm gonna close it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna close it. I'm not. I ain't mean to say I'm not going to close it. I'm going to close it. So I'm putting this, I'm putting this in between here again, basically. All right, so I am going to close it, but I'm not going to let it latch. 
and we're going to do five inch um five second intervals um this time let me cover it with some regular paper okay i'm gonna cover it with plain print paper let's go down here all right this time i'm not going to use the teflon Cover it with some plain paper. We're going to use butcher paper this time. <clears throat> okay. Oh, let me make sure that's covered. That look like it wants to slide off already. Add it up. Add it up. Get right, paper. Get right. Okay. So this time... I am just going to count to five and hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it up. Dang. I think it's still doing the same thing, y'all. Let's see. a little lumpy oh gosh if it's looking lumpy from this okay y'all let's let's just go ahead and see what it's gonna look like let me bring this over here because i don't want to do it under this heat press okay let's see i got a lot going on i know okay so it's not that lumpy but it just I don't know. Y'all tell me. It just looked like it. I think I'm going to try it. Okay, we're going to do this first, y'all. Then if this don't work, I'm definitely going to do just one sheet of lamination on top. But let's just go ahead and try to sublimate. I'm going to try to sublimate with the mist up one. Nope, that's not the messed up one. I'm going to try to sublimate, sublimate with the messed up one. Um, matter of fact, instead of using all of this, let me bring that messed up one out and instead of using the whole thing. All right, we're going to... This is the messed up one, so I'm just going to cut off that um, the area where the ink was. And let's go. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Oh, too fast. See, I'm getting excited, y'all. I forgot to tape it down. I'm going to tape this down. Since it's such a small... This is such a small piece. Just gonna probably do two. Y'all, I don't know. We'll see. I ain't gonna jinx it. I ain't gonna jinx it. <laughs> but I feel a little scared by this. A little scared. Because, you know, sublimation needs, needs its heat. Oh, yeah. Sublimation uses heat, y'all. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn this around. Well, that ain't even going to matter. Y'all, we're going to keep it hot. How we do? I am going to put a sheet of paper over this, though. And let me lighten this up some more. That could be it. And lighten the pressure. All right, 60 seconds, y'all. 
Well, I didn't go do 60 seconds. I probably take it out 10 seconds before. <laughs> oh. So, in the meantime, in between time, let's, um, just in case that doesn't work. And I'm looking at the, the heat press at the same time. I don't know, y'all. I think I'm going to take it out 20 seconds before. Yeah, I'm about to just take it out. Because cause I'm scared. Okay, let me give a couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. What has happened? Let's see. I see some sublimation, but this paper looks wrinkled. Lord Jesus, this is not it's going to work, it don't look like. That big old blob of white. Yeah, you know, I can't see that. Let me come over here. Look at that big blob of white. But this looks good though. That looks good. But the paper is just not. It's not holding up. It is not. So we either need. We might need heavier paper. Um, we might need heavier paper, which I don't think that's it. Hmm, I don't think that's it. I think we need to do I think we need to um, do one sheet of this paper and see how that works. Just one, and we want the what's that? We want, we want the glossy side, of course. We want the glossy side. Cause I think that's too much heat. All right, so we did one, we split it in half, and we have that glossy side, the matte side on the back, the glossy side on the front. And let's go and do this for 10 seconds and see what happens. I already know it's gonna stick to the butcher paper a little bit. Okay. this down uh, just want to make sure we have it all covered putting some paper down then that extra butcher paper on top uh, five five seconds and I'm not going to clamp it try not to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay that was ten seconds <laughs> not five This car is not just not having it. Well, maybe it's just. Let me see.
it's it got these little uh, lumpy might be lumps in here that I'm concerned about. Let me sh I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like little lumpy lumps. I don't know if that's moisture. It looks like it's moisture or something. But it did not. It's gonna sub correctly anyway because the way I it could be the design that I created. Let's go and see. If this was sub, and I forgot my tape. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching with me, staying with me, and test testing this stuff out. Staying with me while I test these things out, cause you will never know unless you what. Test it out. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that up in there. And I'm going to clamp it down. And I'm going to let it go for 60 seconds this time. The whole 60 seconds. And we're going to see what happens. But in the meantime... While that's going, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put this up in here. The the lamination pouch and my regular printed car stock I mean my car stock printed with regular ink just to see if I could get that laminated and of course I am not right, so Let's see here. Let's see what happened. It's not looking crinkled up. Ooh, this stuff is hot. Hot tamale, hot tamale. Yes, I did it back upside down, but it's just for test, for test purposes. Y'all, <laughs> it's ghosting. It came out okay, but it's, it's ghosted. I want... What I wouldn't say no, but we just have to find the right, I don't know, <laughs> the right uh, something for this sublimation business cards. The right card stock or the right, um, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I don't, I don't think I would do that until I know exactly how to do sublimation business cards, the cards that, um, now this, like I say, y'all, 
this is the pouch and this is with uh, regular pigment ink I just printed cardstock I just printed um, my business cards on the cardstock and all I'm trying to do is a is a laminate so I'm just going to hold it over not click it one two three four five five seconds just to see if I can it laminated oh that thing's super hot though But it's crinkling up. Uh, let me probably adjust this temperature. Let's go. Dash it. I'm gonna go to probably about three fifty. And definitely going to do five seconds, but it did laminate, but I just don't like how it crinkled. And I'm wondering, um, I'm wondering if I cut it, you see the little crinkles in there, if I cut it, will it, um, Will the air come out some? All right, y'all. Give me one second. I still have my heat press. Okay. So, it's a no-go for... Definitely a no-go for the... Sublimation. So now go for the sublimation of business cards. Um, with lamination. And using your heat press to laminate. I'm trying to see what happens right now. It's still looking a little crinkled to me. I um, just want to see if it's going to get some air up in there. It looks crinkle, y'all. It looks crinkle. So, I'll have to keep playing around with this, y'all. But right now, probably a no with the lamination on the heat press, unless you get the exact right temperature. Let's go ahead and try it with 350 since I'm here. Might as well. <clears throat> Might as well. Might as well. All right. And I'm going to do something. I'm gonna do something with them uh, sublimation. How's that going? Oh, my stuff. Is. I'm gonna do something with them sublimated business cards. They're not just gonna go to least. That can sound like this is All right, y'all. Let's go over here. Go over here. Okay. 
the lower heat. Where did I put my butcher paper? All right. So we have at 350, and we are going to semi press five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. It crinkled at the bottom, but I just wonder. Okay, so that kind of worked. Up the bottom is not. Let's do another. Another five seconds. Let's do one, two. Three, four, five. Cause that bottom was not um, was not adhered. I mean, well, it wasn't sealed. The bottom is sealed now. This did come out a lot better. It's not wrinkle, like it's not crinkly. It's crinkle right here at the bottom, but up here at the top, it's not really crinkly. Well, I feel a little crinkle right here. But it came out a lot better than this one. You know what I'm saying? So, it could just be uh, adjustment of um, of temperature. So I would say even try to go down to about I would say probably 320. Yeah, this is all the way, lim all, all the way laminated. I would say probably go down to 320 and do your five second intervals there and see this look like it changed the color just a little bit I don't know why I ain't know um <clears throat> but yeah just try to if you want to do lamination that way you can try give it a try so this is the front the back and a little bibbly but it's not bad like it's a lot better so yeah I like I like I like it I'll use this business car sure will in a heartbeat so I will not use these other ones. I'm uh -uh, lumpy dumpy, gumpy lumpy. Nope, mm -mm. you're too lumpy. All right, you're too lumpy. Look at it. You can, look at it. Look at the lumps, you're too lumpy. But um, y'all let me know if y'all give this a try and I'm so sorry for the long video. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry in advance for the long, long video. Okay. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And let me know if y'all try any of these, um, these, uh, things. Or if you, uh, find a way to sublimate, you know, using lamination. Uh, I could have been doing a lot of things wrong. Yeah. <laughs> With this, you know, doing 
business cards of or with cards card stock uh just let me know but it was fun making this video and y'all uh just hit that like button if you enjoy what you saw if you're not a subscriber please subscribe i try to do a video at least once a week if not more most of the time is more videos <laughs> within a week but once again my name is brooke Y'all take care. Please comment below. Those makes me smile. Even if it's some critiquing, I just love that y'all are actually being involved in what is being recorded and what we're doing within that video. All right. Well, y'all take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join our, our Facebook group is at WeCraft22. All right. Y'all take care. God bless.